Today I'm going to show you how to build your own top drip bucket hydroponic system. Let's get started. The items you're going to need are a five gallon bucket, which can be purchased at just about any hardware or home improvement store, a mesh pot bucket lid, and a General Hydroponics GH Farm Kit item number 4116. These can be purchased from your local hydroponics store or on the internet. For your convenience, I have links on my website. I have a link to my website down in the description box. You'll also need a few more items such as hydrogen or your favorite grow media, hydroponic nutrients, a small aquarium air pump. No water pump or timer will be necessary for this project. Now here we have the mesh pot bucket lid. A little more on that later. This is the GH farm kit. It will have your pumping column support tube, your drain level tube, and a clear air line. This is the pumping column. and the drip ring. The package will also contain the grommet and the DLT clip. They just call it that. It's actually the drain level tube clip. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is put a small hole in the bottom of your mesh pot bucket lid just big enough for the pumping column support tube to fit through. Should be kind of a snug fit. Now you notice the uh, drip ring is approximately the same size. Uh, see I bought an 8 inch mesh pot lid and I should have bought the 10 inch but I'm going to show you how to fix that problem there. Just cut about, oh, about an inch off of each side of the drip ring. It's plastic and it cuts fairly easily. If I'd bought the 10 inch mesh pot lid, this step wouldn't be necessary. Now you take the supplied T and simply put the drip ring back together, making sure the holes face down the same way as the tube. Now you take the pumping column support tube going to need to cut off about an inch and a half to two inches. And then you take the pumping column and cut off an equal amount. Once again, about an inch and a half to two inches. Next, you'll have to put a hole in the side of the bucket. This will be for your drain level tube and you want to make it just a little bit smaller than that rubber grommet. Insert the grommet into the hole you just made and put a small hole up top there for the DLT clip. Put that directly above the hole. Now insert your drain level tube. This will tell you how much hydroponic solution is in your bucket and it'll also allow you to, to drain your bucket when you want to change a hydroponic solution or so forth. This just sticks in there just a little bit. Okay, now you're going to want to fill your bucket with about two and a half gallons of hydroponic solution. Put your pumping support or pumping column support tube in there. Now insert your pumping column. Watch out for the little clips, they kind of want to catch a little bit. Now connect your clear air line. Of course the other end's connected to your small aquarium pump. And you notice I've already got hydrogen in the mesh pot lid already. You can see it's already starting to work. 
As the bubbles rise up through the pumping column, it brings the hydroponic solution up with it. We attach the drip ring, and you see there we got a working system. Now just insert your favorite plant into the grow media, and we're off and running. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please support your local hydroponic stores whenever possible. Thanks for watching.